Top Greatest Female Bodybuilder from the 1990s, Part 2. Hi guys, I'm Kisha, and glad to see you guys again on my YouTube channel about gym and martial arts. If you like this topic, then quickly subscribe to my channel so that you won't be missing our most interesting videos. Getting back to the 1990s, when there were many female bodybuilders who have such an amazing and impressive physique that can deliver to us lots of inspiration and expensive lessons. Now, let's come with me and together discover about them. Number 1. Michelle Ralabate The first female bodybuilder I want to tell you is Michelle Ralabate. She is a world-class athlete and fitness trainer for more than 30 years. She is an attractive female bodybuilder with green eyes and curly brown hair. Michelle was born in 1971. In season, her weight usually ranges from 108 to 110 pounds, about 48 to 49 kilograms. She is 4 feet 11 inches high, which is equivalent to 150 centimeters. Michelle is one of the only three women to compete in both the IFBB Miss Olympia Bodybuilding and the IFBB Fitness Olympia. She won her first pro show at the 1995 Tantana Classic. Michelle was also in the Guinness Book of World Records 2000. Michelle is considered as a top gymer all over the world. She was an elite level gymnast from an early age. Unfortunately, she got an injury in a competition. Still, she managed to pursue other physical feats. What great exertion! She has been married now and has had a baby. She is little active on social networks, although she owns both an Instagram account and a Twitter account. However, her articles on training and nutrition have been published in several magazines. Michelle is a very determined person, right? She once promised that, whatever her goal is, she will make it happen. Number 2. Ashley Potts Now, let's meet Ashley Potts, a strong and beautiful female bodybuilder. She was born on December 22, 1989. She is now living in the state of Utah, USA. Do you find her sexy with blonde hair? I am really attracted to her beauty. In season, she usually weighs about 110 pounds, which is equivalent to 49 kilograms. Her height is 5 feet 5 inches, around 165 in centimeters. Her body is well proportioned, isn't it? She must be training really hard to be like that. Unlike Michelle Ralabate, Ashley Potts, in fact, does not compete in many contests. In contrast, she focuses on spreading her inspirations to other gymers and bodybuilders. She usually features in magazines like Inspire Life, an organization that helps homeless people. How kind she is! During her career, she works as a muscular physique model. This has earned her over 80,000 Instagram followers. Do you find Ashley Potts attractive? Then follow me. I will now show you a female bodybuilder who is no less attractive. Number 3. Yolanda Hughes Haying Yolanda Hughes Haying was born on October 30, 1963, in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, United States. Up to now, Yolanda's body is still very impressive. She has a height of 5 feet 6.5 inches, which is equal to 169 centimeters. At her peak, she weighed about 140 pounds, approximately 64 kilograms. At present, although she has retired from competing, her weight is only up to 164 pounds, equivalent to 74 kilograms. Wow, look at her body! The dark skin along with curly black hair make her so seductive. From an early age, she had developed an interest in sports, attending gymnastics and track during high school. Later, 
she got an invitation from her Billy Jim to participate in a local women's bodybuilding competition. Ever since, she has realized her potential in bodybuilding. She won a 1992 IFBB World Amateur and earned a pro card. During her career as a bodybuilding competitor, she met and married Thomas Haying, a visitor from Germany. At first, Yolanda came to reside with her husband in Gütersloh, Germany. However, to support her in bodybuilding, Thomas then moved to Bellingham, Washington, and they are now still living there. Number 4. Denise Rutkowski And the last female bodybuilder from the 1990s in this video today is Denise Rutkowski, who was born in 1962 in Reading, Pennsylvania, US. She used to be really famous and popular in the 1990s. Her nickname is the Golden Panther. At that time, while she was competing, she was 5 feet 5 inches, which is equivalent to 165 centimeters. Her competition weight was between 140 and 150 pounds on stage, approximately 64 to 70 kg. Denise started bodybuilding at an early age. She attended many competitions, in which she all got first place in the division of heavyweight. Still, her professional bodybuilding career was brief. Her sudden retirement shocked the sport. Denise was really interested in bodybuilding. She showed no fear at all of getting bulky. And thus, she took in a large number of steroids to make her muscles bigger. At first, everything was okay and not many men at that time were not able to achieve her physique. But soon, she changed a lot with less femininity. And yes, Denise, unfortunately, had a very bad dower. The last story of Denise, I know, is not a happy one. However, this is the reality of bodybuilding. I hope that this video will be a reminder for me and you as excessive steroid use during bodybuilding training possibly leads to addiction. And about three other female bodybuilders, what do you think about them? Leave your comment below. So many thanks for your attention to this video. And now, see you later.